A parasitic infection from so-called kissing bugs has made its way to California and is causing some concern. The infection is spreading in several ways, mainly through those bugs and can cause chronic problems. Circle of Health reporter Denise Dore is in studio and has more on the Chagas disease and what you need to know about it. Oh yeah, we are definitely doing our public service here. The bugs that can transmit Chagas disease are now firmly entrenched in Southern California. A heart attack or stroke may be the first time you learn you have this fairly rare parasitic infection that often goes undiagnosed and untreated. In the wooded areas of Griffith Park live tiny insects that could harbor a dangerous parasite. The so-called kissing bugs often attack the face. I think if something bit me on the cheek, I would know. But most who get bit don't know they're infected. People often ignore the initial symptoms, such as flu-like illness and rash, or they don't experience any. A lot of people get infected when they're little children very, very young, and it can stay dormant for 30, 40, 50 years and then manifest itself as premature heart-related issues. Dr. Suman Radhakrishna with Dignity Health California Hospital says Chaga disease can lead to heart attacks, stroke, and difficulty swallowing. Of the 300,000 infections nationally, researchers say California has about a third of those cases. Los Angeles County now tests for Chagas and collects data. Most of the infections occurred in other countries. But about uh, another 23% or 22% of people, you didn't really see why. So we assume that they got it locally. Dr. Radhakrishna says infections are treated with antiparasitic medications. The longer you have it, the more difficult it is to manage and treat. If you catch them early on um, and you treat them, then they don't go on to complications. Although the parasite has been detected in local wildlife, such as rats and skunks, Chagas is not transmitted from animals or from other people. Bites are the main culprit. Insect repellent can help, but it's not recommended for the face. Experts say the best protection is awareness. Now pregnant moms can transmit chagas to their fetus. It's also been passed through organ donations and blood transfusions. That's why more testing protocols are in place. Pets can get it if they're bitten or if they swallow an infected bug. Dr. Radha Krishna's advice is to not change your outdoor routine. The benefits of hiking outweigh the risks. So we just want people to be aware when they're out there, you know? Yes, good advice, okay. really good advice. Thank you.